Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sinashan, we are playing Dishonored 2, we are in a long day in Dawnwall, we have just knocked out two of the guards that was in the vicinity, we are both trapped. Uh, we had a fight, we have lost some health, but I managed to knock him out non-lethally, but f thankfully I found some food here, so let's search this room for information and other useful stuff. But bathing salts, yeah, that was something. So yeah, we will search in a circular manner, so we are sure that... Oh, alright, so let's listen out to this while we're searching. Emily, I know times are hard. You're the ruler of four nations. And I won't pretend to understand the pressure you're under. Only you and your mother before you could know what that's like. Whoever is killing off your enemies is doing so for calculated effect. Undermining us. I do know what it's like to be blamed for murders you didn't commit. But trust me, we'll find this crown killer and they'll pay. Tomorrow is the anniversary of her death. A sad day for sure. But I want you to remember all that's happened over the last 15 years. You've held on to the throne and you've done what you thought was right for the people of the Empire. You drained the flooded district, kept the gangs in check, and yesterday we launched a magnificent ship bearing Jessamine's name. You're becoming the sovereign your mother wanted you to be, and I'm proud of you. Okay, so yeah, it was Corvor talking with us. He's of course proud of us, and we are already showed that we are using his nice skills. I haven't opened this one, I saw that, so that was nice. Uh, let's continue searching these rooms. Yes, slow, slow playthrough here where we will discover as much much as possible. That kind of looks promising. We'd love to find some more. Oh, can we? Okay, so the royal protector wishes our father, so. Um, the Royal Protector, histor historical record of the government's positions and ranks in and under um, Corvo Atano, accused of assassination, assassination, let's try that again, accused of assassination, <laughs> the Empress has, was sworn to protect. How unlikely he will not overcome this shame, but then redeem himself as fully as the name royal protector to yet another empress. Those of the anti college of histories were too fast to use their pen against him. Yet, let not blame historians, for the evidence against Athena was nearly overwhelming. First, he is the only royal protector ever to be, have been born of an isol of other than Gristol. His foreignness is not itself a crime, but added to the situations, the most forgiving, which was that he lacked the capacity to fully understand his duties. <laughs> Secondly, he was caught uh, red-handed red with a bloody weapon kneeling over the body of the Empress Yasemine. Of course, it turns out that even this damning evidence was part of a clever plot to destroy the Empress and remove Atano from interfering with ongoing plans of the Lord Regent's conspiracies. And while I admit to publishing what are now clearly incorrect conclusions regarding Corvo Atano, I will not, as some of my colleagues have done, resign my position at the veritable organization, but instead I reassert, reassert myself in the endeavor of weeding out fact from fiction to produce the most salient histories possible. So this is what we are talking about, Emily's father here, so that's what was happening here. I mean, I have a temper tantrum because, uh, yeah, I almost died. So let's see here, let's search these vicinities a little bit fast. I see some coins. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, yeah, so that was the document. Yeah, he was the first game began with uh, uh, the starting in. Uh, it's not a spoiler because the game starts in that way, and he will. They are killing the empress, and he can't red-handed get thrown in jail. So yeah, 
So that's how the first game starts. So he was killing, was the bodyguard of the Empress, but he killed him. So we have more food there, which is a promising news for us as we are slowly going for a crown killer uh, strikes again. Let's find about, about to be more about the crown killer, which is, seems to be a very important person. I think my reading skills are up to notch now. Now I've read the document. Crown killer strikes again. Dunwell citizens express shock and fear as yet another outspoken critic of the Empress Emily Caldwin has met with a violent demise. The latest victim is no none other than Ikalod Boyle. Boyle is one of the ruling families in the first game. You are actually given tasks to stop them in one of the levels. Notable entrepreneur and supporter of the arts. Boyle recently wrote a opinion piece harshly criticizing the Empress for what he called her a slipshod style of governance and her willful neg negligence of duties. Authorities are convinced the crown killer is the same cul culprit, given the gruesome details left at the crime scene. As her, ma her ma majesty's most outspeaking adversaries fall one by one to this notorious, notorious assassin, we boldly ask, is now the duty of the royal protector to murder all who dare to criticize the throne? So they are <laughs> blaming my father again. I kind of find, find this thing kind of fun. It's a very dark world. This, this on a world is a very dark steam, steampunk world playing. People are always plotting for evil stuff. So let's search this room in a circular manner so we don't miss anything, especially when we have no skills to show us here. So let's just open this and check it out. Let's see. It's just stuff like that. Okay, cool. So there was some more food. Let's eat so we get our health up. After all, we are not allowed to kill anyone. Oh man. They are killed everyone in my household here. And I think Emily was a very fair queen. It really depends because we have the system of low and high high chaos. Because if you play the first game in a very low chaos way, the, the Empress Emily Caldwin will become a good and just ruler, but if you are very cruel, she will be, of course, as her royal protector is her father too, she will become a very nasty person, but in our case, I think uh, we are uh, starting at a low chaos. Emily is one of the good guys from now, at least. Okay, so let's see. They seem to have a meeting here. Off, we should have the time we need. Just stay here and stall anyone who comes by. I'll be back when I've searched the royal chambers, assuming I don't accidentally lock myself in this damn safe room. We'll cover for you if anyone from the Duke's party returns. Huh, this is exciting. Everything's changing. Yes, the natural order is reasserting itself. The Ramses once hosted the king and queen of Morley. Did you know that? I spent my childhood playing with the buntings and the boils, the cream of society. And very soon you'll be back at the top, Captain. Okay, we have Gorn Captain Ramsey here. Ramsey's we need... family fell from the aristocracy, and apparently the man holds a grudge. How it's my fault, that's beyond me. But one way or another, Ramsey is too dangerous to be left in play. So we have to do something about him. He also has a ring we need. <sighs> Damn it. I need to pee. Yeah. Thank you. Let's knock him out. We are lucky that we are in the shadows here. So it shouldn't be a thing. So let's try to move up on him. Slowly and gaining speed. So let's knock him out. This won't leave my hand again. So we have our signet ring. Ramsey. Place Ramsey in the safe room. Let's put him up there for safekeeping. And so I have the scouted area, that was why I... And let's put him here. I think we need to go here, we can see here. We can open that lock there. 
Let's put him here for a while. And we will try to take it. I think there was two guards. So let's take him out so we can search the throne room. Maybe we can say goodbye to our father too. It's tying his shoes. Let's move slowly here in this. I'm hungry. He's moving in that direction. He's standing there. Let's take this while for taking him out. Oh no. That was not the perfect. Oh, I should. I thought. It, Let's try the same trick. Okay, okay. <laughs> so my sneaking is not going very well. I think it was just two. Hopefully, that was not going well at all. I, I thought he was gonna gonna wander over here, so I had a lot of time to choke him out. But that was not the deal, you. So uh, yeah, that went really. Is he dead now? I don't want to kill someone. You know, he's just very uncomfortable. So yes, <laughs> this is really going well. But I think I will pick up speed a little bit later in the game. So yeah, you have to live with this. Let's say hello to our father, which is now some kind of sister. Father, I don't know how, but I'll make this right. I promise. Yeah, we will try. Senseless slaughter. And here we have a memory of our uh, mother, yes, mine. There was so much stuff here. So this was uh, where. For this. The lion had arrived. Away from here. The lion arrived at, with this carriage, but it doesn't seem like there is any kind of things here. Especially here in the beginning, without powers, it can be very hard. There were so much details. So what is this? Killed for their loyalty to me. Damn the Duke of Circonos. Damn Delilah. Her reign is off to a grand start. I'm thinking they will blame Emily for the all with this of our cover, but cover is a statue. Uh, we will find out Look more. This place. Oh, nice. The, the, that's our mother. So let's. Watch over me. Grant me the strength I need. Yeah. I don't. I think we are more or less down here. We have to explore the other areas. So we are. I could have missed something, but that, that is bound to happen. It's a very huge game. Or remember that it. Okay, cool. So let's get a hell over here. Okay. Let's get our friend Ramsey. Oh, can I play that? No time for that now. Could probably uh, uh, get one of the guards to come with that, so let's see. Anton Sokolov made this lock. Emily kinda has a superhuman strength carrying a grown man man on her own shoulder. I, I and moving, but yeah, I kinda like that. Fun, fun, fun over re realism is always a good way to do in the game. So let's put him there. Let's see. Let's search this upper area first. Can I get up there? I don't think so. So I'm climbing on the things there. So uh, let's see. Oh, interesting. So when I'm, I didn't know that before, but yeah, whispers from the void. So this is probably chapter two of this. 
free trades on the physical existence of the foreign uh, realm, the void, I guess. These little glimpses of the wo void in dreams are described by those awoken from comas are not limited to select few. In my interviews, I've gleaned that there is not a single citizen without such vis visions at one time or another. This then must be a real place, not folklore or mass delusion. Perhaps it exists deep below the earth or far above it. Perhaps it is the right next to us but hidden, some tr trick of light or wondrous curtained bars uh, from fully knowing it. And we all wait for a natural philosopher to unlock the phenomenon to show us and see it as well. But w when we see when so revealed, it will not be a fearsome place any longer, uh, not the distant special realm described in the myth of the outsider. It will be strange, strange, yes, even unsettling, but nonetheless, it will be a new realm for us to explore and eventually conquer. What new treasures await here? Are there lakes made of liquid diamond? The clouds are wavelets of silver glass, gas, and what things will we learn? So yeah. It seems like every people has a, a, a small glimpse into the void, uh, which are is the realm of the outsider. That is interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, I thought it was a special thing that the outsider and the void just repaired for special people, but I could be completely wrong. Which I think is proven by that document. That's really interesting stuff. Uh, so, letter from YM. Okay, so. Letter from Wyman. Emily, I didn't want to wake you this morning, but you for forgive me since we have said goodbye a hundred times yesterday night. And the only chance I get to see with your hair, or whichever which way is while you're asleep, as soon as the sun rises, you put on your empress face. It makes me happy that I know your real face, the one that laughs at our, at our silly rhymes. I don't want to go back to Morley, but I need, I'm needed here. It will be four months before we see each other again. I miss you, and yes, I will bring you some white leaf tobacco for your hookah, Lord Corver, if you're reading this letter, as per your royal <laughs> protection functions, know that I'm joking and perfectly aware that the white leaf tobacco is forbidden crystal. Take care, my darling, daring Emily, don't fall don't go falling off of a rooftop. I love you. Why, man? So this is our uh, secret boyfriend because we are in our se secret safe house here. So we have some wine here so we can fold out the food so this tastes better. We have a map of Dunwall. So yeah, so let's see here. Cover Antano, the royal protector in our times, part 01. His parents were older at the time of his birth, and his father died in a lumber accident outside the city when Kovo was still young. Around that time, that time his only sibling, a firstborn, firstborn sister, moved away to Morley, and the family substantially lost all contact with her. Only 16, Kovo dazzled the people of Kanaka, when he entered and won the annual Blad Blade Barbena, the spectators from all over Sekonos were thrilled to see something, someone so young and striking from a working class family advance through duel after duel, eventually taking the prize. The unexpected outcome secured Kurvo as a junior officer ranking in the Grand Second Honor Guard. As a soldier, he was involved in a number of conflicts against the organized criminal groups, rogue city states with the Sokonos, and the pirate bands along the chain of Iceland radiating east from Sokonos. Sent from his homeland at the age of 18 by the Duke of Sokonos, then Ferminos Abali and Luca Abele. Kovo was assigned to serve the emperor in Dunwall as a diplomatic gift. His circular heritage made him a bit an uh, outsider in Dunwall, but the capital city must have seemed exotic and full of old world mystery. 
A few months after he moved to Donwell, it is recorded that Corvo received words that his mother has passed away several weeks after his departure of Karnaka. That's interesting. So this is the youth of Corvo. And this is one of the pictures that Emily drew in the first game. I think it's affected by low and high chaos. And I think this is the high chaos version because this person here, I think it's meant to re represent her father, unknown father at the time, Corvo. I think there is some other odds, but she kept it. And we have a Samuel Beach work, that's the boat you use in the first Old game. Samuel made this. I'm glad he didn't live to see me driven out of Dunwall Tower. So that was kind of interesting. We have a... Emily, my daughter. I know that one day you'll be grown up. And I wonder what you'll remember of these years. <sighs> Will you recall your time as a child with fondness? When were there too many caretakers, formal dinners and lessons about boring old history? Maybe the precious hours we spent together will shine brighter. Time captured now and then with your mother and with Corvo, who was always close to my heart. I hope this season of rats and plague will be nothing more than a passing shadow on your early memories. A crisis come and passed, weathered by your mother and her advisors. You'll sit on the throne someday, and will do well, I hope. It's a tricky life, full of responsibility and peril. It was not your choice to be the daughter of an empress, but I believe you'll rise to the challenge. Stay good-hearted, Emily. Keep drawing and telling stories, and only share your power with those you truly trust. If only I could talk to my mother one more time. So, Circonos is over here, and so this is where Corvo is from, and we have Donwall over here, and the big island of Crystal, which is Emily is supposed to rule over. Uh, what I notice here, a very interesting picture, uh, because this is the pictures where you get in the first game, she is always drawing, because she is hiding away, and she's hiding in one of these towers here, and you can see this is the low chaos version, because there are rainbows, and <laughs> there is a horse with... Uh, or is it, it looks like a purple horse with fl wings. So yeah, we have spent a lot of time here. But yeah, so this is what kind of this playthrough will be. We will uh, have... Okay, so this is part two of Corvor Atano, the royal protector in our times. In an act of rebellion, young Yasumai Kalaran used Corvor as her royal protector when Corvor was 19, and she was 12. He served her loyally as a bodyguard, a courier, and some say before and after she was crowned uh, empress. Though it was scandalous gossip at the time, it is said that they began a love affair around 1823 when Yasemine was 18 and Koro 25. The next chapter of Thanos' life is something out of a legend. During the time of the Rat Plague, when the empress fell, Corvo was accused of regicide and sentenced for execution. He was thrown into the Colbury prison and publicly reviled. He escaped and as a part of the small conspiracy dedicated to throwing down the tyrannical Lord Regent. Corvo struck back at the people who killed the Empress and who wronged him. As the Lord Regent fell, the Loyalist conspiracy turned on Corvo, poisoning him. Surviving through with some inner through with some inner resilience, he located the true assassins of the Empress and fought his way out of the flooded dis district. Corvo eventually cornered the last of the Loyalists in the King Sparrow Island, Barra's lighthouse, and rescued Emily Caldwin here to the throne. The rom romantic involvement between Corvo, Atano, and Empress Yasemin Caldwin was a terrible kept court secret. This is widely held that Emily Caldwin is, his, is their daughter following the interior on Corvo watch over Emily as she began to rule the empire over the isles. So cool. 
start that was again a backstory for the only game so I take these bone charms a bone charms is where, where you augment to so get better skills so this is probably a, a scientific document Bone shones are sailors blessing, they say. The cavern itself practiced from the long back, passed from Santidog to young green horse, still finding their seal legs. In old times, sailors cut into the tusk of the ice seals, into arm long fangs of the bears that roamed the island of North Otaiva. Once the whaling trade began, the practitioners began engraving the bones of these great bees, running in charms that sing in the night and grant them some small boon, increasing a, low, a lover's vigor or providing defense against pregnancy. This is also one of the religious uh, strong movement in this game is the uh, over, what is, overseers. Yeah, the overseers are the, worshiping the uh, man of every man, they called him. And so, yeah. And they don't, they kind of consecrate, uh, they, they, they take all the whale bones and runes and stuff because they seem it's her heretics if, for them, yeah. It's not allowed. They think it's. So we got a gun. And so they, they kind of consecrate themselves so often when you find uh, whale bone runes and uh, other or, or other things like that. There are often overseers around because they are trying to gather all of those because they think that is yeah like sacrilege or something. Let's see here. Let's first check. The... There is something there, isn't it? Or is it just a? I, just, I think it's just a, uh, a lock or something. So we, here we have some other... We have Emily Caldwin here. I think it's Lord Regent for an older game and other things. So yeah, she's in the middle here. And <laughs> Wales is really, really important. So let's open up the safe... Help against Delilah, even if I had a way to carry it all out of here. So we can't carry all of that gold out. The gold is important because we need to trade out for stuff. I'll need this. So, have I missed some safe here? I don't think so. I can pick up the old drawings here. I don't think they have hidden anything uh, upstairs. So we are more or less done here. I have not checked this area here, I think. Could be something up there. Could be, but let's get hell out of here. And yeah, this is a good, uh, Good, good time to stop playing here because yeah, we are done with this here. Wait. I'm just uh, trying to. Okay, so this is an, an uh, cover a town of the royal protector in our times. Let's quit with this one, and we will quit the episode as soon as I have read this. His parents were older at the time and of his birth. His parents' uh, father died in a lumber accident. Haven't we read this? His only sister... Here we have read this. It was a double. In case you missed the first one. Okay, so we will go outside here and that will be a good finish. Let's just check here if there is something I may missed. I don't think so. I haven't read that one. Okay, so this is more about the void. It's a common story. A person stopped reading, pinned under the carriage of wheels or some other dragon inhabitants, and is thought to be dead. But when the weight is removed, they make a quick recovery. But nonetheless, for a moment or two, this person was lost to us, lost to the world itself. And what did the experience? While the temporary death, darkness, nothingness, no, indeed not. They tell us, as many before have, that they were in a particular place and can describe it vividly. And who among us doesn't know the place? Have we not all seen it in our dreams? This is a place we share in farthest reaches of our minds. The realm where nothing makes sense, where one is once both lost, lost and at home, the void. So yeah, that was more about the void. So that was a, 
everything for this time. Let's just get out of here. I should close the safe room door so Captain Ramsey stays put. <laughs> yeah, we want him to Ramsey stay put. Deserves my attention. So how do I close it? And he doesn't have the ring, so he will, he will be locked inside here. Now you've got what you wanted, Ramsey. The Imperial suite atop Dunwall Tower. Stay put until this is all set straight, Ramsey. Okay. Enjoy the rations and well water. Sleeping next to a fortune. <laughs> I kind of like that. He sleeps right beside the gold and he can do nothing about it. So let's leave this place and end the episode. Go to Dunwall Streets. Until I understand this, I have to go into hiding. I should make my way to the docks. Okay, cool. So that was everything for this episode. And as always, thank you for watching. <laughs>